Before we went into break, we took a look at all the Adani Group stocks. Well, keep an eye on a couple of these other exporters as well. Gokul Das Exports, for instance, is now up around 6-odd percent. A big mover in this week, up around 11 percent and doing extremely well. We have some updates coming in on account of Route Mobile. They've partnered with Voda Idea to provide A to B SMS monetization solutions, as a result of which that stock has moved higher, up about 2 percent. But the one which is taking uh, your breath away is the new listing, Concord Biotech, up almost 26 percent. Uh, it debuted at a 21% premium on the exchanges itself. Ekta, this RJ-backed company making money. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, it is interesting because I was re reading a couple of reports uh, before the listing and that indicated that maybe this particular IPO in terms of listing is not going to see that much interest. But uh, to the contrary, it's gained around 20-odd percent on uh, listing days. So it's been a good listing for this particular company. It's an API company. Uh, it is an RJ back company where there are various entities which hold a total of 24.09% stake in that company. Now, totally, it was subscribed around 24.87 times. So it wasn't a huge amount of interest as compared to what the street was anticipating. Retail was 3.78 times. QIB was strong at around 67 odd times. And non-institutional buyers were at around 17 times. They raised 465 crores from anchor investors, 41 funds, uh, at the higher end of the uh, price band, which was at 741 rupees. Now, the company has raised funds only via pure OFS, and that was one of the reasons why the street was probably anticipating that it's not going to see that much. by volume in 2022 across certain fermentation based APIs. Now that's very important because it's more difficult to make these than the immunosuppressant segment. Now uh, growth drivers according to analysts include that it has a niche complex portfolio like I mentioned it's within the immunosuppressant space. It has high margins so they did margins of around 40 percent in FY23. And they're expanding into more complex segments such as injectables. So that's probably one of the key things that the street likes. Now, negatives is that there are competitive rates from Chinese suppliers, which are probably negating that China plus one factor for a lot of the API companies. And a lot of companies do still have high cost inventory, which needs to be liquidated. So that is something to keep a track of. But overall, it's been a good performance in terms of revenue growth as well. It's been 20% higher in FY23. EBITDA is up around 25%. Like I mentioned, margins of 40%. And the profit growth has been 37% on a year-on-year -year basis as well. So overall, it's a company which is uh, operating in niche APIs. It has uh, big names behind it. And it's seen a good amount of interest from the QIB uh, segment. All right, Ekta. <laughs> That's about uh, Concord Biotech. Just keeping an eye out on Sula and that's... Uh